Alusa Corporation presents Wings of Mercy with narration written by Jerry Witt. How can they call on the one in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without a preacher? Romans 10, verse 14. In 1987, I found myself very busy in the ministry, reaching the Native American Indians in the state of Durango, Mexico, with the gospel, working mostly among the Tipiwans, a tribe in that region. My greatest surprise was to find vast zones of people in these mountains of the Sierra Madre Occidental without any gospel witness at all. These people belong to strange cultures and languages apart from the Mexican culture and Spanish language, true frontiers of the gospel in our country. Over 400 years ago, the Native Americans of these areas had fled deep into the rugged mountains to avoid being enslaved and made to work in mines and on plantations by the early Spanish settlers. They still live deep in the mountains and canyons in small villages and individual huts, never having heard the saving message of Jesus Christ. As we first started ministering to these people, we would travel by boat or drive as far as we could and then backpack and hike into these remote villages, providing some dental and medical services, but always taking the gospel to them. If it, it would often take days of hiking to reach one small village or one group of people. Burdened in my spirit because of the enormity of the task at hand, in prayer, I ask the Lord, how are we to reach these people? After this is when we began to work in the mountains using aircraft thus increasing our productivity by over 400 percent. The problem with flying in these mountains was that I further began to realize the even larger aspects of the task at hand, finding literally thousands of huts and corrals and homes where these Indian people lived, most of the places only accessible after two to four days of hiking on foot or on horseback along trails which wound up and down these enormous canyons, some twice as deep as the Grand Canyon of Arizona. Again, I found myself asking the Lord, how can we reach these people? One day while ministering in Perel, we met an American lady, the wife to the business administrator of Galcom International, who donated these little shortwave radio receivers fixed tuned to a single frequency the High Adventure Voice of Hope radio station broadcasting in Spanish from Los Angeles. Excitedly, I began to envision the many ways possible to distribute these radios, tuned to the gospel station, to the Indians scattered all over the mountains. As many don't read, we would need to include an illustrated instruction booklet showing them in picture form how to use the radio. We would send bulk amounts into the remote areas via converted Indians that we had contact with by truck, mule pack, on foot, or any way possible. Then a thought occurred to me. Why not distribute these radios to each hut in the mountains by means of a special box attached to a tiny parachute? Very excited by this thought, I called Galcom International Brethren in Canada who manufactured these radios 
and received a positive answer from them for this vision. They would supply us with the GALCOM radios. We immediately began to construct and test the cardboard boxes and parachutes. In May of 1998, we had the privilege of completing the first phase of this project, concentrating most of our drops in the state of Neverett among the Kora Indians. Two things which strike me about these radios. The first is we eliminate a great language barrier to hearing the gospel since we don't have to depend on the recipient's need to read or write. And secondly, the devices are solar powered. The solar panel powers the radios and also recharge the nickel cadmium batteries included with the radios. As we began the flying operations, we discovered that there were literally hundreds of huts that were nearly impossible to get to and drop on. I had never been down in the holes in canyons like these before, and we were amazed at the hundreds and hundreds of huts in the most impossible places, and astonished that people actually live in these places. Nevertheless, the Wings of Mercy mission had begun. <laughs> It was so exciting to see people running out of their huts and waving frantically, running straight to the falling parachute, and then wave at us as we came around the next time. box contains, in addition to the GALCOM fixed tune radio, a picture, comic strip style set of instructions on how to operate the radio. To know where many of those radios ended up was more than we could understand since we had seen those impossible places with our own eyes. We calculated that with a 10-man crew on mules it would have taken six months to one year to distribute those 525 radios to the areas where we dropped them in just a few days. Many places would have been missed due to the sheer error caused by the rough broken terrain. We missed some places that we found later and were able to deliver this little talking missionary right to their mountain front door. We thank all of you who made this possible through your prayers, encouragement, and financial support. Only in heaven will we know the full report and impact of spreading God's word in this manner. Let us pray that this seed that is being sown in Mexico will begin to prepare and soften the land for the gospel and that many more will come to know the light of the gospel. Vamos a resplandecer. Vamos a llevar la buena nueva. Toma de la mano a tu hermano a la derecha y a la izquierda. Y pueden meterse de un lado a otro así. For the birds of the air will carry the voice, and those with wings will make known the light of the gospel. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 20. This Wings of Mercy mission to those who have not heard was made possible by the cooperative efforts of Alusa Corporation, 
Galcom International in Hamilton, Ontario and Tampa, Florida, High Adventure Voice of Hope in Los Angeles, Harvest Ministries, and many others like yourself. Thank you for your support and prayers for us as we continue to take the gospel to the unreached, to those who have not heard the good news of Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 o